Okay, welcome back to this uh, part two of our episode on uh, uh, Venezuela and uh, the uh, movement uh, solidarity or solidarity movement with the slogan of uh, Chavez was here. And Chavez was in the Philippines in 1999 and one of the significant uh, points at that time was the offer of cheap oil to the uh, government of the Philippines. Unfortunately, we have never been able to avail of that for uh, various reasons, including the uh, dominance of our uh, economy by uh, the Western foreign uh, interests. But uh, in the second part, we have with us uh, Mr. Chibu Lagman. You may wonder about his name, Chibu. Uh, I don't know if you can explain it because it's uh, actually a Japanese uh, uh, name. Uh, but um, anyway, he's Filipino, not Japanese. <laughs> And he has been uh, reporting on uh, Latin America for the past decades. Uh, maybe you can give us, fill us in on your history with Latin America and your love affair with Latin America. I started off, uh, my first posting in Latin America was in Guatemala. I covered the latter part of the Civil War. What and year was that? 1992. Uh -huh. okay. And then when the rebellion broke out in neighboring Mexico, in Chiapas, uh, I covered that too. And since 2001, I was re reassigned to the South American desk. Mm -hmm. And since then, it's been all uh, South America. And um, you speak uh, sp Spanish already? Of yes, of course. And uh, you are uh, covering uh, the region for as a journalist, reporter? Yes, I cannot. Uh, ah. I'm now a consultant. I ah, okay, okay. And your network is uh, based, uh, you cannot uh, mention uh, I can that? Me I can tell you it's Canadian. Ah, it's Canadian, okay. But you cannot mention the specific no, Because uh, I am now agency. just a consultant. I'm ah, a, okay, uh, okay. Uh, but you're also employee. currently teaching uh, in UP, University of the yes. Philippines. And I retired as a teaching uh, Latin American studies okay. from the University of Alberta in Canada. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, we were discussing earlier uh, uh, the social progress in uh, in Venezuela, do you confirm this uh, in your visits uh, and uh, oh, your yes. understanding of the? Very definitely, uh, it's very impressive. Uh, mm -hmm. For instance, the reduction of poverty by fifty percent and absolute poverty by seventy percent. The uh, illiteracy has been virtually wiped out. Uh, I'm I'm using UN uh, UNESCO, UNESCO figures. UNESCO figures, yeah. Uh, and that yeah. of uh, ECLAC, the Economic Commission on Latin America and the Caribbean. It's a United Nations agency. Uh, in all, all in a very short span of time. Fifteen years. Yes, mm -hmm. that is truly impressive. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was trying to verify about the texting because uh, I remember <laughs> I was told by the former <laughs> Sergei. But you say you have a satellite phone, so yeah. when you go there, you you don't, no, uh, don't use cell visit, phones. Yeah. No, no. Oh, but uh, anyway, uh, I'll keep researching on that. Uh, but I came from Venezuela. Mm -hmm. Only two years yeah, ago, yeah. and yeah. I, so I, you are charged. Yes, of uh, course, okay. definitely. Do you know how much per per, per text? text? Yeah. No, no, I, I don't, I don't remember. I pay a, a by card. Say, a, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, included. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go text. ahead. Uh -huh. Included the text. Yes. Including the text. So, Chibu, um, what are your impressions of what's going on now, uh, as reported by international media, or should I say, Western media? Well, they're trying to reduce it to something black and white, some uh, simplify things, which, which, is, uh, which demands a more nuanced uh, kind uh -huh. of interpretation of what's going on in Venezuela. For instance, uh, Western media reports where the protest actions take place. Okay. Uh, the geography of protest. Mm -hmm. Well, if you do not know Caracas, and just as I say, the uh, disturbances mm -hmm. occur, occur in Caracas, you think the whole city. But actually, the protest happens in Chacao, Las Mercedes. Some focus. It's the eastern part of Caracas, mm -hmm. where the rich, where the middle class and the elites live, mm -hmm. not western Caracas. Uh -huh. Now, I just checked this because there are quite a few OFW Filipinos mm -hmm. working in, in, in Caracas. So I sent them uh, emails uh -huh. asking, where is it happening? Mm -hmm. Well, if you don't know Caracas, <laughs> okay. you would think the whole city is in uproar. Mm -hmm. But it's only a small part. Mm -hmm. it's, can you say <coughs> that it's like Makati, for example, that part? Yes, it's yes. like Makati. Like Makati. It's very much like uh, 
Forbes Park. Uh, Forbes Park. Forbes Park, Makati. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And what about the students? Of course, they make okay. a That's the other that thing, the students you know? are also protesting and so on. Yeah. Who are the students who are protesting? Well, it's mainly from the private universities, mm -hmm. not the public universities. Yes, of course. Well, it's the same thing in the Philippines, and, and so on, and so too. They, only, they, they don't have reason to protest. Mm. The young people is between 15 and 13 years old mm. have a lot of rights now. Mm -hmm. they, 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 the government creates a lot of public universities. Mm. And then they, a, a lot of policies also in, for improve the life of the young people. But this is not to say that they don't have problems. Yeah, of course yeah. they we'll have problems. We'll, we'll discuss the problems. Yeah, for example, they tell us that criminality is high, yeah. inflation, inflation is high. Uh, uh, so what are the reasons some for Some of the yeah. consumer goods are not readily available. Mm -hmm. But this is not a problem that was caused by the but, government itself. But this one is a, pa a part of the economic war. Yes. The economic war. The yes, economic war, right. of the, course. The, uh, just as here, there are people who hoard yes. uh, these uh, consumer yes. goods. Yeah hoping to drive up the price uh, yeah. higher. At, at the same time, create political uh, yes. problems. But uh, we can go back and say that uh, the structure of the economy was really built up over uh, the 50 years before, which was uh, import dependent and oil export uh, yes. dependent. See, uh, some of the problems really are historical problems. Mm. For instance, after the discovery of oil in the 1920s, mm. in com uh, oil in commercial quantities. Mm. What is the area again? What is the area of the oil discovery? Maracay. Maracaibo. Maracaibo. Suya. Yeah. Suya. Maracaibo. 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 Okay. Uh, there was a massive shift of resources from the rural areas to, to the urban areas, mm -hmm. uh, to the oil industry. We, and so, uh, when Chavez took uh, office, Venezuela was importing 80% of its uh, food requirements. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Because it was cheaper then to just, just import. Or import. Yeah. Now, that is a very dangerous situation yeah. because uh, food can be used as a weapon. Yeah. Now, since the uh, uh, assumption of office by uh, Chavez, this uh, dependency on imports has been reduced tremendously from 80 to now it's even si less than 60 percent that yes. they're importing. So, uh, Venezuela is now growing its own, uh, mo many of its own food? Of course. Like, uh, we, produ we produce now the... Uh, the basic product. What, what is the regular staple food? We hear is rice. Arepas. Rice, arepas. arepas. Harina de maíz. It's like ah, a thick, very thick corn, tortilla. Corn, corn. Maize, maize. corn yes. Con, Co corn, corn flour. flour. Harina, yeah, de maize. Yeah, yeah. harina de maíz. Sounds better, harina de maíz. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Corn flour, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's right. like a very thick tortilla. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Uh, so, yeah. do you have, uh, you have uh, tacos morning and night? Well, arepas. arepas. We, call, arepas. It, we arepas. call it arepas. Okay. So yeah. uh, it's our basic, uh, a common and traditional food for mm -hmm. the Venezuelan people. What about uh, criminality? What What is the cause of this? Uh, it's very high, uh, according to the. The, the problem, the criminality, is not only in Venezuela. Mm -hmm. The problem in the, the criminality is in whole America Latina, uh -huh. Latin American countries. Mm -hmm. We are not exempted of that. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, and uh, I would have to agree with her. Yeah. Also, with respect to the economy, mm -hmm. some of the economic problems of Venezuela derive from the general global recession. Mm -hmm. yes. All of us suffered through that. Yeah, oil prices, of course, go up and down. Uh, it's now down, oil prices. But in Venezuela, down. we have a particularity. Some of our economic problems now are created by the, the powerful... Uh, oligarchy? Oligarchy, yes. What about the course. U.S.? Is the U.S. doing uh, anything to restrict yes. trade? Uh, for example, financed by the mm. government of the mm. U.S. Okay. This one is the, our reality. Mm. The U.S. need to promote disorder and chaos in the countries who have uh, different ideas mm -hmm. to them. To they, uh, uh, the last time they said we need to intervene military Venezuela. Mm -hmm. They create the, the situation there. And, and the justification for enter in Venezuela. Yeah, the question now in some people's mind is: Is uh, Venezuela like Ukraine? But some people say no. Venezuela is no Ukraine. No. Uh, uh, why you we shake your hand? We are different people. Your we yeah. have a different problem. We have a different history. Is a different one. Okay. I'll go uh, be more specific. Yeah. For three, four, four factors to consider. First, since 1998. 
the Bolivarian movement has submitted itself to 13, 13 elections, plebiscites, referendum. And in every one of them, the Bolivarian movement has emerged victorious by more than 50 percent. Mm. What does that tell me? Mm -hmm. That more than 50 percent of the electorate support this government. Mm -hmm. Yes. Secondly, last December there, were, there was a municipal election in, in Venezuela. Yeah. And now, this is at a time mm -hmm. when Venezuela was suffering 56% of inflation. Mm -hmm. Still, the, gov the Bolivarian movement, the Chavistas, won 242 mayoralities, mm -hmm. and the opposition only won 75. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the second factor. The third is the military is solidly behind the government. Yes, I think uh, you have a chief of staff in the military that is a lady. What's her name? Melendez? Yeah. General Melendez. Okay. Now, I'm not just talking about there are officers who are institutionalists, mm -hmm. constitutionalists rather, yeah. but there are officers who are really Chavistas. Mm -hmm. After all, you have to remember, Chavez was, was a, a commander of a paratroop regiment. Mm -hmm. He came out of the military. Mm -hmm. okay. The fourth, fourth factor is that Latin America is a very, has a very different political geography mm. today. And the La Latin American countries are solidly behind That's right. the, this government. In fact, Mercosur, that is to say uh, Brazil? Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, Argentina. issued a statement and condemning us. this, uh, this uh, violent uh, occurrences. In, so, we, we received support from more than 40 countries mm -hmm. in, around the world. Around the world. President, by a, a prime minister, mm -hmm. a solidarity movement. Mm -hmm. We receive a lot of support about the, the situation even, in Venezuela. Even the so-called non-leftist governments mm -hmm. like Mexico and Colombia oppose this, mm -hmm. uh, this yes, recent because it's violent unconstitutional. Yes. Uh, so for, for those, if you, to me, if you put those four factors together, there's no way. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay. And, uh, well, uh, now let's go to President Maduro. Of course, for a while, I was also, since I really support Boliv the Bolivarian Revolution, and for me, it, the inspiration from it is important for the Philippines. Uh, and in the presidential election, Maduro won by a very small margin, so I was very afraid. However, that seems to have been overturned already by the mayoralty uh, elections. Yeah. Okay. So, but uh, how is uh, President Maduro doing now? And um, uh, aside from what explains the big win in the mayoralty, what, what, uh, uh, what do you call that election? The municipal elections. Uh, the municipal yes. elections. What is the diff big difference between municipal election and then the presidential election where there was only a small uh, victory by Maduro? Why, Why the di big difference? Do you have any idea? Uh, the, I think so. It's, it's the moment. No, mm -hmm. it's the moment who the the, the president died. Yes, yes. Uh, start the the start the economic war. Start ah, in, okay. in this moment, mm -hmm. and then the people. So people feel angry because go to the supermarket and can't find the basic products. Mm -hmm. Maybe all of these things uh, cause the maybe so many people can go out to mm -hmm. vote. Mm -hmm. And then abstention. So may, w we have uh, uh, abstention. Abstention. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then these ones can be some of the reason mm -hmm. during that moment. And then uh, that was in what year? The presidential election? Last year? Last, Last year. year. Last year. Last April. But Last then April, yeah. The municipal election was what? Last December. 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 So within that period of time, things seem to have changed. Yes. Very yes, dr yes. radically. Yeah? What th that tells me is that the the base mm. of, the, of the Chavistas mm. is far stronger mm. than the national. Uh -huh. Because in the base, you know, so many mayors, 242 mayors, Chavista mayors won. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay. Definitely. So how many more years of the term of Maduro before the next uh, presidential? Six years. Six, six years. years more. So yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the plans for the next six years of the Maduro government? The, the idea is to continue our, our plan of the nation. Mm -hmm. This is the idea. Continue with the legate of the, our president, mm -hmm. Maduro. The legacy. We, we will, the the legacy. legacy. We will continue the social program. And we, we need to push stronger mm -hmm. than before. Mm -hmm. And then... 
this is this is the the idea of the. Yeah. Before I go to uh, Philippine Venezuelan relation, anything to add to what uh, you think will come in the next six years of well, Maduro? There, there is something also related to the violence. Mm -hmm. The uh, there are mayors in the Greater Caracas area, it's like Metro Manila, who uh, belong to the opposition. Now, you have to understand something about Venezuela is that the mayors and the governors control the local police. Mm. Though the mayors and the governors in those, uh, the opposite, have not issued any condemnation, have not allowed their police to intervene, mm. in, uh, to return, uh, take sides or? To bring order back. Mm -hmm. It is the National Guard who is doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is to say, the Opposition mayors toler tolerate uh, yeah. these disturbances, mm -hmm. guarimbas as they call it. Guarimbas, we call it guarimbas. guarimbas. It's like urban violence. Ah, yeah. guarimbas. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and uh, for put things in the tree that prohibited uh, the pay, the pass to the, the people. Ah, so. See, the, this, uh, the other thing about this is <laughs> middle class issues being raised by middle class protesters in middle class areas. It's simply not going to wash. Mm -hmm. It will be a very localized issue. Even Enrique Capriles said that. Yeah, I was wondering, yesterday was it you or somebody else reported that uh, Capriles was actually condemning the uh, violent uh, protesters? No, Leopoldo Lopez. Yeah, that's the one that is uh, leading the violent uh, protest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's in prison just now. Okay. Uh, this is also, you know, you have to look at this. At, uh, there are two levels here. There is the opposition against the Chavistas. But within the opposition, there is also differences. Yes. There's a difference between Capriles and there's a difference between Leopoldo Lopez. Leopoldo Lopez, Leopoldo Lopez and Marina Corina Machado lead the extreme right. Mm -hmm. And they are trying to take over the, the opposition mm -hmm. by sidelining side uh, Enrique Capriles. Incidentally, after the municipal elections, uh, President Maduro called for a dialogue with all the That's mayors. That's right, yeah. And even the opposition mayors attended. Did Capriles attend? The second uh, time, Capriles attended. Uh, but yeah. Leopoldo Lopez still does not attend. No. And even shook hands with uh, Maduro. Maduro. Okay, so that's what, good news. What, what does that the, mean? The government call all the time to for the other way. Yeah. And the opposition don't want to talk. Mm -hmm. This is the, the, they, the, the, opposition, the Lopez opposition don't want to no, talk because the, Capriles, you say, started talking yeah, already. The, the, the opposition all the time said, we are living in a dictatorial mm -hmm. uh, Regime, government. government. The, uh, yes, but it's not true. The, the President Maduro all the time, since this pro problem started in February mm. 12, last February 12, the President Maduro called all the time to all the levels in the, in the, in the country, economy, social, uh, religious, to, to the dialogue. Okay. Oh, uh, we're nearing the end of the program. Let me just ask. Uh, of course, Venezuela has uh, the spirit of socialism not only in the country but also internationally. Venezuela has uh, uh, sold uh, subsidized uh, fuel to London, to the United States for the poor during winter. Uh, when will the Philippines uh, uh, find uh, cheaper oil from Venezuela? What are the obstacles to that? We are trying. We, ha we subscribe one agreement mm -hmm. in, in energy area. Mm -hmm. uh, and we try to, to in, improve. Mm -hmm. We try to create a, a program for, for improve this agreement. Okay. I wonder if you are aware of any of these economic uh, ties and uh, what uh, no, the no, Philippines uh, can benefit I'm in. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, That's not your line. Not your okay. But um, we're in our last minute. Uh, Chibo, uh, what, what's your final uh, wrap-up for this? Uh, well, I, as I said earlier, I don't think this, op this opposition uh, is going to last for much longer. In Venezuela, okay. Uh, I don't think the, the, the middle-class opposition... Uh, has the patience to for a long drawn out. Mm -hmm. uh, though this, what, the, what is happening now is a form of a low intensity warfare, mm -hmm. hoping to wear down the government and force uh, Maduro, President Maduro, to resign. Mm -hmm. uh, and and so what, at, uh, what attitude should Filipinos have to these uh, uh, developments? Well, if we believe in, uh, in uh, self-determination, <laughs> If you believe in the electoral process, then, then uh, 
that we whoever must... wins in the election uh, rule. Okay. Yeah. So, Yelitsa, uh, what's your message uh, for, uh, for our people? What I'm, I'm say, trying to say is that a democratically elected president like Maduro, yeah. they want to unseat him using street action. Okay. That okay. is to negate the, ne the democratic process. Okay, we'll get the final message from the uh, Chargé. Yes, uh, of finally, the I want to make a call to all the Venezuelans, it, not only here in the Philippines, you know, in the whole world, to maintain us the calm, the calm and then to be... Um, to maintain us the calm. Please and then, uh, speak in Spanish. We will... Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Queremos hacer un llamado a todos los venezolanos, no solamente aquí en, la, en las Filipinas, sino en todo el mundo, a que mantengan la calma, a que nos mantengamos unidos, que tratemos de buscar puntos de encuentro okay. entre nosotros para que Venezuela salga adelante. Ese es la, el mensaje. Porque hemos sido víctimas en diferentes oportunidades de, de amenazas, I, I, I tell this one in English. Our embassy, our consulate in Aruba, last Friday, suffered a consequence of one Venezuelan. I don't know if you have the, you see, you, you read the news. The Venezuela, and the, the, and with a car, entered in the embassy and destroyed. Ah, okay. Destroy our embassy. Mm. One Venezuelan, our first secretary in the embassy, received a lot of messages. Okay. And then... Well. Uh, the amenaza f uh, to her, and for that we want to call to the Venezuelan people to maintain calm. To maintain calm. Okay. To maintain calm. Okay. Yes. With that, we have to thank you, Chibo. I wish we had a bit more time. You know. But uh, thank you very much, uh, thank you very Madam much for your uh, Yelitsa, yeah. and uh, thank you, Chibo. You're too far to shake yeah. hands with. <laughs> so, maraming salamat po, and uh, let's keep on uh, supporting the Bolivarian Revolution. Thank you very.